If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer this question on your own before listening on. We know that in an LRC circuit that is present at resonance, the following equation will hold for the frequency. Because the circuit is present at resonance, this frequency is known as the resonant frequency. We'll notice that the question gives us the value of that resonance frequency as 3600 hertz. We are also given the value of the inductance. Now it's given in millihenries, so we're going to have to convert it into henries by multiplying by 10 to the minus 3. What we don't have is the value of the capacitance, and that's actually what part A of this question is asking for. So we want to solve this equation for the capacitance, and one way of doing that would be to place the resonance frequency over 1, and then we can cross multiply. So when we cross multiply in this direction right here, we're going to have the resonance frequency multiplied by 2 pi times the square root of LC. And then when we cross multiply the other way, we just have 1 times 1, so that equals 1. We could then divide both sides of the equation by the term f naught 2 pi. We could next square both sides of the equation. When we square the left-hand side of the equation, we will just end up with L times C. When we square the right-hand side, we have to be careful to square each term. So we would have to square the 1, we'll square the f naught, we'll have to square the 2, and then we'll square the pi. Of course, when we square the 2, that will become 4. And then finally, we can divide both sides of the equation by L. When we do so on the left side, it will cancel. When we do so on the right side, that will basically put the L in the denominator. At this point, we can plug in the known values for the resonance frequency as well as the inductance. And when you punch that into your calculator, you should get approximately 1.32 times 10 to the minus 7. And the standard unit of capacitance is the farad. If you needed to convert that into microfarads, we could say that one farad is equivalent to 10 to the sixth microfarads. And when you multiply that out, you would get roughly 0.132 microfarads. And so either this form of the answer or this form of the answer would be correct. And now on to part B. We know that for an AC circuit, the following equation will relate the maximum voltage with the maximum current. So in this equation, we have the maximum voltage or potential difference on the left side, and then we have the maximum current multiplied by the value Z that is known as the impedance. Now, a very important concept related to the impedance is that it will equal the resistance at resonance. And because this question, again, is at resonance, we can confidently replace the Z with the resistance R. And then since we're looking for the maximum current in part B, we can divide both sides of this equation by R. The question gives us the value of the maximum potential difference as 150 volts, as well as the resistance as 4.4 ohms. So we'll plug those two values in. And when we punch that into our calculators, we should get approximately 34.1. And of course, the standard unit of current is amps. So this is the correct answer to part B. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And also, feel free to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen. And I'll do my best to post the solution to it on YouTube.